Hi, Kilo Charlie One Sierra Alpha here for another informational video on the ICOM 7610 and getting various modes to work and play well with N1MM Plus, the logger program. The first things first, we need to make sure that the ICOM radio is set up appropriately, and I assume that you have a USB 2.0 and 3.0 cable plugged into your radio and into your Windows 10 machine. This is the back side of the radio that shows the USB 3.0 and 2.0 connectors. The USB 3.0 connector is the blue connector that is slightly rectangular and is labeled number 2 above. And the number 1 labeled USB connector is the USB 2.0 cable. The USB 2.0 cable is used for rig control and for audio capabilities. And the USB 3.0 connector is used for the INQ data. USB 3.0 will be required if you intend to use the spectral display feature on N1MM+. Next, you'll need to ensure that you have the correct uh, USB driver for the Silicon Labs chips that are inside the ICOM 7610. The current version of the uh, USB driver is listed above, and the I and Q data uh, software is also listed above. They can be downloaded from the ICOM Japan website. You need to install these. Take note that the USB driver uh, CD-301501-04 will occasionally be overwritten by Windows during Windows updates, so you may need to reinstall this driver from time to time. Now I've created this little diagram that shows how the ICOM 7610 multiplexers on the front end of the radio work. The radio has four types of inputs that the radio can pick its inputs uh, from four different sources. The four sources are microphone, accessory, USB, or LAN. The four inputs are data off, data one mod, data two mod, and data three mod. If you aren't using the accessory input at the back of the radio, you can ignore the accessory source. And if you're not using the ICOM RSBA1 remote software for remote control of the radio, you can ignore the LAN input. So you are left with just the USB and the mic as your sources for modulating the radio. Now ICOM allows the user the ability to sum together the microphone and USB inputs as well as summing together the microphone and the accessory inputs. I'm not sure why you would ever want to do this, but it is an option with the radio. In my case, I had my data off mod set for microphone only. I have my data one and data two mod set up for USB only. And I have my data three mod set up for LAN only, only because I have been playing with the RSBA1 software and that requires the use of the LAN as the input for audio data. Now let's verify that you have your inputs set up correctly. Click the menu button, the hard button, on your uh, radio. And that will bring up this display and then press the set button. The set button will then bring up a connectors uh, menu. Click the connectors menu and then click the mod input. It's on page one of three. The mod input will then uh, show you this display here is two pages and the ones that we're very interested in are data off mod, data one mod, data two mod, and data three mod which is on the next page. As you can see I have my data off mod set for mic, I have my data one and data two mod set for USB, and my data three mod which I'm not showing is showing set up for LAN. Alright, so now I'm going to show how my setup is for N1MM for the 7610, so I'm launching N1MM now. And it's coming up in the ready mode, because that's the last mode I was using. All the windows pop up, and I'm actually running two monitors, so the screen on the right is my main screen, and the screen on the left is, I'll call it my auxiliary screen. And here's my setup for the radios.
And those setups include the radio as well as data modes and JT65. Now the bottom portion of the screen is my left and right screens and the top of the screen is a video of the actual radio um, display. So hopefully they're in sync. I had a hard time syncing them up but it um, should be uh, easy to follow hopefully.